Nobody loves the way you do You look at me and all I see is true Cause you're good to me and love me as you do I'm crazy for every part of you Alright, I did a yoga class on my Peloton app um, I overslept a bit I was actually supposed to do a workout class with a friend of mine um, But... I could not get myself out of bed and you know there's other chances for me to go with her the class was gonna be free for friends so I'll definitely catch her next time I had every intention I had my clothes out and everything and just I couldn't do it um, woke up at early this morning which just my stomach was kind of bothering me and so it was a bit tougher to get up and moving I have sort of figured out that um, I'm not a Athlete, I'm not athletically gifted in any kind of way. I was a dancer growing up. I did not do really do sports. I'm terrible at sports But um, I've been trying to get back into working out consistently and doing something active and what I'm realizing also is you have to listen to your body and Sometimes doing a super intense workout where your face is beat red and you're sweating a lot like isn't always necessary Sometimes doing something like good stretch workout or these yoga classes or Pilates or something can be just as effective because Sometimes your body needs it. You don't need always a super intense workout so um, Usually I try to do some do something more cardio based on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but today given the fact that my stomach was hurting um, Decided to just do some yoga instead and just sort of take it easy, but still do something where I could stay active so I'm gonna take a little bit of a breather reflect a bit um, Before I hop in the shower and get ready for work. So I have a pretty busy meeting day um, so I know the day is probably gonna go by pretty quickly. And then I'm also grabbing dinner with a friend that I haven't seen in a while. So I'm excited. Today is gonna to be a busy day, but I think it'll be a good one. You know I'm coming for you, going for it. I need you, I won't ignore it. Can't ignore it, going for it. I'm going for it. Can't ignore it. I'm going for it. All right, this is today's fit, mostly the navy blue with a cute little striped sweater. I don't know what kind of shoes I'll wear yet. Probably flats and then maybe change into heels when I get in. And then I got these really cute um, necklace and earring. I think both of these items are, or both of these pieces are from Kendra Scott. So this is what we're working with today. And then with the hair, I did a little bit of a curl. We'll see if the humidity holds up with it. I, I doubt it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody loves the way you do You look at me and all I see is true Cause you're good to me and love me as you do I'm crazy for every part of you Didn't know I've been as lucky as I am And I was done looking and walked in my mind he gives me everything that I could want And from then on he always was my one It's perfectly accidental A little bit kind of mental A balance of you and me And now I'm on my space and center It's perfectly accidental Connected with me It's kind of amazing on how much of a difference a couple minutes on your 
commute can make a difference when you're in a city like Houston. I left a few minutes, like three minutes early because one, I was ready to go and then two, I didn't really have to pack my lunch because we are doing a celebratory lunch for a coworker um, for her 25th year anniversary. So I have lunch covered and it's gonna be amazing. So I actually am probably not gonna even eat breakfast. Um, so I left a little early and like, I just breezed right in here. It's kind of, um, kind of amazing, but I'm looking at my calendar. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I do have um, several meetings. I think my last meeting starts at 3.30. It doesn't really seem like it's gonna be too bad today, but we'll have to see. The emails are starting to roll in already. So it's still a toss up as far as how much I'm actually gonna get accomplished today. I do have my to-do list. There are a couple of things from the last couple days that I have not been able to do, so I really need to prioritize those this weekend, this weekend, today. <laughs> and then um, not too much other thing, not too many other things going on to where if I don't get to it today, it's not gonna be the end of the world. I don't think I have anything actually due today, except for this one presentation for a meeting this afternoon. So I'll get that accomplished this morning. But other than that, I think it'll be a hopefully a smooth sailing day. Thursdays are always a bit of a toss up too. They're always either pretty busy or pretty steady. So we'll have to, we'll have to see. I'm definitely looking forward to the weekend and just hanging out. It's so hot outside though. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Mental, a little bit kind of mental. A balance of you and me. <sighs> okay, it's, a little after one, like 1.15, and I feel like the day has just flown by and have not tackled anything <laughs> on my to-do list. We just had a celebratory lunch for one of our coworkers. It was her 25th anniversary with the hospital system, so it was really nice to just spend some time together. We had some fajitas, which they were fantastic. I'm actually so full. I want to take a nap. I don't want to go back to work at all but we have our big meeting at two o'clock with everybody is on Zoom this time. And then a couple of other stuff before I wrap up the day. And unfortunately my friend who was got, I was gonna get dinner with um, had to cancel. She is not feeling well, so we rescheduled for next week. So not really in too big of a hurry to leave. So if I have to stick around a little bit longer to get some stuff done, um, that's fine. And then I'll see, figure something out. Maybe I'll read a good book tonight or something like that. But but the day's almost over. Week is almost over, thank goodness. And oh, yeah, now I just gotta get over this um, food coma that I'm about to go into. No, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Can't ignore it. I'm going for it. I left a little later than I wanted to and um, I was able to come straight home since my friend I was supposed to go to happy hour with had to reschedule and honestly I think that's a good thing because I'm still so full from when we got fajitas for my friend's 25th work anniversary so I actually am not even sure if I'm gonna even eat dinner if anything maybe I'll have like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich but I also just wanted to take some time and talk to you guys so I ended up leaving a little bit later than expected because my bosses were not going to be able to see each other tomorrow so we were getting caught up on some things before the weekend and then just chatting with my co-workers today we were me and my co-worker that and my friend um, she's one of my closest friends who we celebrated her anniversary we were talking about, you know, what are some of the things that she finds to be the most memorable about her experience at the hospital. And hearing her share her story really makes me think about the relationships that I've built throughout my career. 
I've been working at the hospital that I'm currently at for 10 years now, all not only in the same health system, but at the same hospital. And so that place kind of raised me in my career in some ways. And if you guys want, maybe in another video, I'll share my healthcare professional journey and how I got to where I'm at now and what are some things that, that I did and um, helped get me there. And But really it's about the people. And I don't think that I would have stayed well, I don't think, I know that I wouldn't have stayed as long as I've been if it wasn't for the people, all the way up from the top to the people that I work every day with. So it's not even just my direct boss, although my director is amazing. And I feel like at this point, her and I are a package deal with the amount of, we've, we've been together, we've worked together for, I think, seven years now. And so I really don't think that I would be able to survive the pandemic and everything else that came with it and even some other challenging things that have happened in my life without her support. And so I think that having a good boss really makes a difference. I mean, you hear about the fact that people don't leave organizations, they leave their manager, or they leave their people. That plays a big role in things and, and I wholeheartedly agree. Even the people that I share an office with even though we are technically in different departments, they see me as part of the team and as part of their family. And um, I really I really enjoy the people that I spend time with every single day. And from the people that I've worked with, they turned into, some of them have turned into my closest friends. So I think, you know, listening to her, my friend's story also has helped me reflect on where I've come and, um, it really makes me super thankful to have had the opportunities that I've had throughout my career. And um, maybe one day I'll share a little bit more detail with you. Yeah. So it's, it's again, it's almost six o'clock. I am going to change. I don't really know what I'm gonna do since I kind of had my evening cleared and now that I don't have too much going on and I'm not hungry, it's not like I'm gonna cook anything. I don't know finish Stranger Things and like all, all those others. I'm not really in the mood to watch a K-drama. I love K-dramas, by the way. If anybody wants to bond over that, I am more than happy to. Let me figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of my evening and then uh, check back with you guys. No amount of money could ever take me away from you and no amount of money ever will. I'm here because you love me, you I'm here because I feel the thrill I want to be the best part of me when I'm with you I want to show my love would kill You know I'm coming for you, going for it I need you, I won't ignore it, can't ignore it, going for it I'm going for it Just had some popcorn and a peach for dinner, so I mean, I'm still not even hungry, so I'm, I guess it's just a matter of holding me over until breakfast tomorrow. Maybe I'll have more of a hearty breakfast tomorrow. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here and um, get ready for bed here pretty soon. I'm pretty tired, but um, I hope you enjoyed another day in my life and seeing how things are going. I'm sorry, I can't show you a whole lot. You know, being in healthcare, I do have to be sensitive to the information that I do share for privacy reasons and things like that, but I try, I'm gonna try to share as much as I possibly can with you, and if there's other things that you want, feel free to leave a comment and let me know. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Didn't know I've been as lucky as I am And I was done looking and walked in my man